Good morning. Hey, um, can you hang on one second? I am trying to set somebody else up on a different meeting. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go on mute, but feel free to welcome folks as they come in. Go. I shall be a couple of minutes before we start that here. No problem. And actually, I'm going to pop out and then come back. So if you guys, if Alex, you want to um, get uh, started or just hang on one second. That's whatever. That sounds Wait, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, and then about wraps up. So uh... <laughs> perfect, very efficient, everyone. <laughs> okay, All so right. I was opening up the meeting um, agenda. <clears throat> oh yeah, for July or yeah, July twenty fifth. Perfect. So let me share my screen. Awesome. Well, <laughs> welcome everybody to the Aries Marketing Working Group call uh, for July. Um, we meet once a month to discuss um, every all things marketing related to Aries and uh, hope to have more kind of voices and thoughts and ideas kind of emerge as we move forward and kind of updating and refreshing um, the messaging and kind of public facing content uh, and descriptions for Aries. Um, if you want to add your information to this, let me, I think I can just put the link in the chat. Um, and so again, my name is Helen Garneau. I'm from Indicio. Um, Alex, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, Alex Metcalf, working with uh, Government of British Columbia. Uh, and Sean, um, I know we've crossed paths. Can you uh, remind me what organization? Oh. Ah, uh, yes, uh, Sean Don from APSA, South Africa. Um, mm -hmm. I heard about this last week. Now, for the life of me, I can't remember who told me. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> well, good. Well, welcome. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. we have been talking a little bit about uh, this group and the formation of this group over the last couple of months um, in the, the regular Aries working group call. So you might have uh, heard it talked about there. Um, but yeah, we um, did a little work in our last meeting um, talking about how to describe Aries, what um, elements that we needed um, to he kind of hear from the community about. So we I had created a survey to receive um, some of those, some information, just some opinions about um, kind of what's missing and what we should be doing. And we got those survey results back. And Alex has done a beautiful job kind of formulating all of those, all of that feedback and all of our conversations into a deck. Um, Alex, would you like to share your screen and just present and we could talk about um, what we have, what you have? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Give me two minutes here. Oh, no, two minutes, 30 seconds here. <laughs> 30 oh. seconds feels like two minutes sometimes on Zoom. <laughs> 
um, often the side of presentation thing where you you stand silent in front of people and it feels like an age, but it's actually quite a long time before people start to get uncomfortable, way longer than it feels like when you're presenting. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy playing with that when I'm, when I'm doing presentations. All right, let me share this window up here. There was a, a person named Nathan George who was one of the first kind of leaders of the working group calls from Indy and, and who was at Sovereign and um, now he's at Kiva, I believe. And he would say, oh, does anybody have any comments or questions? And he would like, he would give a solid minute or like 90 seconds of like wait time before he would move on. And so we called it a Nathan, like a unit of measurement, yes. a unit of time. Yeah, we've heard about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's where, that's what a Nathan is. <laughs> that's wonderful. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, and, you know, this for the recording for sure and as well, um, let's talk through what we did and what we found here. These are the results of a survey we put out about three, come on three weeks ago now. Ran it for a couple of weeks, um, promoted it in various places, various, uh, the working group, how you put it on the email list, the Hyperledge Discord server, within a few organizations. Got 16 responses back, um, which is to say this is not in any way a statistically valid set of survey results. It's more of indicative um, items, like, you know, if you just take one prompting comment to open up a new avenue of thinking, which is what it did. So it should be taken with that. We haven't got any, we purposely didn't record any demographic information about the people or their employment and so forth. So we also know the skew of this. There could be some really great opinions out there about Aries and its important features that are not reflected here. But with all those caveats said, we got some good things out of it. So I'll just recap the results now and just talk about them rather than dive into the actual numbers. We had um, a like question out the gate from not important to very important, a five point scale about how important people think Aries features are to a business person and we gave them a whole bunch to choose from. Now, we have, this is to give a sense of how we want to prioritize how we write about Aries, because um, from some questions we asked in the working group going back about two months now, each person had a different summary of what they thought was important about Aries, how they describe it. So we want to say, okay, is it, is it that it's for identity solutions? Is, it the, is privacy um, preserving important? What about the fact you can make wallets with it? Do people want to have that known right up front? Is that not clear? How about if it's future-proofed? All these kind of things. So these are the bar graphs. And where they skew high to the right-hand side, that means more support. Where they skew high to the left, it means less support. Um, apart from the first, very first column, which is hardly used, which was a don't know answer. So the most of these results are in line with what we thought. Um, identity solutions being the strongest. People looking for the application for identity. So that makes a ton of sense. It's good to have that backup. Uh, complete toolkit, also lots of support. Using other credentials for high blue bar there, like W3C credentials. Um, mixed response, which is interesting to me about wallets and agents in that. Um, we thought there might be, I thought there might be more people saying, yes, it's really important. You say right up front, you can make your own agents with this to do A, B, and C. That may be important. This is not, again, the whole community, but it was surprised not to see that one higher. So I was like, oh, okay. Isn't it, and putting these lower doesn't mean we're not going to talk about them. It means you may not talk about them as prominently right up front. So I think those are the main takeaways um, from this is that um, wallets and agents weren't as important as saying you can apply this for identity, you can apply this, and it has um, multiple credential support. Um, oh, yeah, the one that was negatively against people saying we don't, the response saying we don't really care that it doesn't require blockchain. That wasn't a high priority feature. That may have applicability to a market that misunderstands. I know there's been some talk in, in, um, in the EU about these aspects, but um, in terms of priority features of respondents, that wasn't one of them. So then we asked, I'll go through these, these, these results in a bit more detail. I did at the working group last week, and I'll leave yeah. some space questions at the end. We asked yeah, exactly. Can I, can I just ask a yeah, question? Yeah. On, so on the create agents, uh is is that in relation to that the people you spoke to already have agents talking to the ledgers that they require um we don't have that information but my from, from doing a lot of survey work my interpretation is it's not important when talking to a business person to mention wallets and agents up front. They're more interested in the solution it provides rather than the tools oh, okay. to get there. Okay. So then we asked the same questions again, but we asked the person, that, we asked the respondents, what about to a developer? 
And these are much more, apart from what I just mentioned, all the same things apply, apart from a few things off the charts. Open source, yes, open standards, yes. Huge support, multiple languages, that kind of makes sense. And again, the same trends for the business people apply to developers. So that's kind of interesting steer that, you know, we'll still mention solutions that involve wallets and agents, and we'll still mention the fact that um, it doesn't require blockchain. We just need to put it, you know, as high priority in a hierarchy of things you tell people when you first introduce them to Aries, which we'll come to in a minute. We asked them any other suggestions of things that are important to mention. Um, some good some good things came up. These are more like, you know, prompting food for thought items. Um, what's the conformity like for existing standards? Um, how about for government level identity and KYC needs? Um, what's the time to market? How, you know, where do, is this ready to go? Do you have to build on top of it? What, what does it come with? Um, cryptography, who's vetted it? Is it being externally reviewed by a, you know, the third party? All those kind of things. So this is an inter interesting list to come back to as we evolve how we describe our areas. Um, a lot of these I hadn't thought about before in the first summary and hadn't been prompted by talking to the community about, so it was good to get these responses. And then we had a free text question saying, you know, go at her. What else have we missed? Um, with that, coupled with uh, the, free, the, the free text, we asked people to give us a whole bunch of materials that they thought would be great for people starting new to Aries. So we asked respondents, if you, you know, developers coming new to this, a business person coming new to Aries, where do you send them? What's that bookmarked PDF you like? What's that video, that course? We've got a whole bunch of suggestions which we've collated and we'll put onto a first pass of a getting started section and with our areas materials and we can refine this. And the idea is that we're gonna build get the community more. This is not for me and Helen to try and, you know, micromanage this and saying, here's a place guys, if you have somewhere you always send them people, put it here and reduce the workflow for everybody else so they can come and get started. So we have about, I wanna say about 30 links that people provided, which was very helpful. A few other suggestions. Um, a fact sheet comparing Aries to alternatives. It's a good point. Develop FAQ. Personally, I'm a massive fan of FAQs. I think most of the time you can cover that off with well-structured information and it becomes a bit of a, a catch or if not looked after. But there could be FAQs about things that people often ask that we could address outright in that format. So I think there's some merit there. Um, explanation of Aries, shorter and longer versions. Great idea. Takes work. Might be a community thing to contribute. And then this is a good prompting question to segue into what I'll just finish. And as someone said, the sooner we can update the hyperledger pages about Aries, the better. And we have some materials that are just dated from the launch of Aries, so 2019, um, more technical in nature, um, don't reflect the latest use cases, and now in some cases are incorrect. And all those put together um, a prompting need for us to get something updated as soon as possible, which I think we can cover in a minute. So very helpful results, which basically said, I think how do you find the same thing, that we're, we were on the right track. We want to make sure that we were not presuming something about writing my areas that the community wasn't in line with. And though, again, this is not in any way statistically valid um, in terms of, you know, uh, quant analysis. Um, we do get some, some indications that we're on the right track and how we're describing this. So, so it's not just the Alex talking show. Helen, do you want to bridge into how we're going to be applying this? Do you want, do you want to show the description we've come up with or how we're going to apply the different formats of it? Um, or I can. <laughs> I don't mind. Yeah, I think if you have them, at, if you have them at, 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 at the tip of your fingers, that'd be helpful. But I'll just add that, yeah, I, I, I definitely want this to be a collaborative effort. And it's also going to you know have lots of versioning, um, getting something out with sort of a, a baseline update across the wiki across the actual hyperledger um aries page that pops up when you like the the highest ranked page when when you do a search for aries getting those items refreshed and updated and then continue to iterate i think is going to be the best way moving forward um i would love to you know see more kind of implementation <clears throat> use cases, examples of implementation um, in a section. I would love to have, yeah, more video content, more contributions from the community in terms of marketing support of, in terms of like white papers and longer form, you know, reading materials. I mean, all of this kind of conversation came out of um, the, uh, I guess it was like six weeks ago now, maybe two months ago that, um, 
they were talking about the open wallet foundation and somebody was saying, you know, I'm out in, in the community and in, in business meetings with potential customers and they want to hear about a wallet and a wallet is so important. And that's what we should talk about. We don't ever talk about wallets and Aries and we're like, yeah, then we should change it. And I think, you know, there's some opportunity to find that middle ground for Aries. Um, if it's a community, if it's a communication or a messaging problem, then, then we should absolutely change it. So this is that opportunity to get started, but it's by no means the, the end result that we're never going <laughs> to change it moving forward. So hopefully this, this, um, we, you know, we get this update going and then we keep moving. Absolutely. So on the screen share in front of you is a draft of the content. I'll position this. We're going to come up with like, this is a, a, a core description of Aries as a sort of middle ish technical layer. And we're going to apply it in three places. Um, the landing page for the Hyperledger wiki pages for Aries. So when you come to Aries, and that's one of the main ones that comes up depending on your search engine and your in your search history, that could be first. The second one is the um, Hyperledger Aries landing page, the use case page on the Hyperledger website. Now we can't update that one right now due to some practicalities. We might be able to find a, way, a little way around that, but that's because they're refreshing the site and they've got a bit of a freeze on content updates while they do that. But that's the second place. And we might lift some of this content up a little bit to be a bit more, um, slightly more high level for that audience. And then they can link through to more details. So that's the second place you apply the content. And the third one is in the Aries, main Aries GitHub repo. The, the main readme file when you come to the repo has got a space for an overview as well. So those are the three core points and we can provide, I want to provide routes up where appropriate to high level information. So if there's anything more business focused, we can link up from that in the right places and equally more likely as well, we'll go down from this. So people come from this initial wiki page, they might go down to more technical detail as needing me to link into that as well. And that's where this description came from based on drafts we worked at before, based on feedback from the survey results I just covered, and some feedback from the Aries Working Group. There was um, somebody gave a couple of comments uh, last week. Come to this description here, where you've got sort of a, a general summary at the top. That's the link of where it's going to be, by the way. Um, some key characteristics of what it is. Um, this is these are the links that were provided. Um, by various people, they could still be sorted. I just took a first stab at saying these are more general, these are more developer techie focused, but there could be better grouping and we can we can iterate them, but let's get something up because something is better than nothing. So we've got these links here and then we'll continue the format as is on the existing page, except to say that um, Helen has got this great template page that we're going to work off as a good structure for a wiki page. And we'll probably just repurpose this content into the right places on that template page in the coming days right now so we can have that um that wiki page update as soon as possible so wiki page first hyperledger site when they let us and see if we can find a way through that and then getting that repo for the um the aries uh repo updated the readme file there and now if you do a google search on hyperledger aries because our assumption is that people are going to people are typically finding us not by searching on oh what's out there to do identity and all the sort of nuances of what that means but we're working on the premise, which I think has been backed up by a few people supporting us in this, is that they hear about Aries, it comes up in a conference, they hear it in a talk, and they want to learn more. So working the basis, they, they search for us by name. That's not to say some of our keywords might not hit that. But when you do that and search for hyperledger Aries by name, those three places come up first. And that's what we're targeting with this content. Um, yeah, I think that's an apt summary. Um, let me put the one more time just for folks that just joined us the link to um, this this meeting, um, the wiki in the Zoom chat here one more time. Um, yeah, if you go to that Google Docs link of that page I showed you in the screen share, it's about page two or three into that document. Just scroll down to it says wiki content and then you'll see um, what we've got there. So yeah, the next step for us is I think we have the messaging good for now. This is not a, a final one. It's about get something up and let's iterate it. Um, and next step is, is, is uh, unless there's any comments, which we'd really welcome right now, next step is we're going to update that wiki page and, 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 and move things forward and make it, you know, much more effective as a learning page for people. 
So th th that wiki page that you just showed, is that just a current um, version that you're looking to update? I yeah. apologize. Oh, sorry. Here's um, here's the, sorry. just the wiki page that I put in the comments is the one for the meeting today. Um, mm -hmm. The example page that the Hyperledger staff actually mentioned is a great um, model for filling out a wiki page kind of format for um, a project is this one, and it's for one of the labs called Mini Minifab. Um, and that is this link that I just put in the chat, uh, the second link there, the short link. Um, and for Minifab, and I can also share my screen. Um, but this would be an example of kind of what we're looking at in terms of updating the Aries, the current Aries page. So we'd have maybe some content at the top, uh, a, like a description of what it is, some of the highlights of what it does, and some of those value points that that Alex um, just had in there, and then how to like get people going quickly, how to get them using it, contributing to it, um, learning about it, participating in meetings, etc. So we have all of the get started get involved items right at the top if you have questions where to go where the discord channel is etc um i think you know a layout similar to this is kind of what we're looking at if you go to the aries page as it stands um it has it has a description that you know needs to be updated um it has some characteristics uh and then it has a documentation repos and then communication and chat, but I think that, um, you know, and then, you know, calendars and stuff, but I think there's an opportunity here to kind of move things around, make it a little more user-friendly, especially again, for potential customers or partners or vendors who are looking to adopt Aries, looking to um, learn about it, whatever, um, just make it easier for them to find what they're looking for quickly, depending on their level of knowledge or interest or what have you in in the project so kind of move things around to make it a little more user friendly and update it with the the messaging that alex just um shared but the description that you if you scroll up quickly to the top so to me this description is more of what it is than what we're proposing to update so Potentially just keeping keeping this description is what you're what you're well, it, it, it resonates more with me than what we were trying to say in the other one, because uh, in, it is an infrastructure for peer to peer interaction mm -hmm. as defined. Because if Alex brings up his description. It talks to more it being a digital identity ecosystem but it's more the infrastructure that allows the peer-to-peer -peer interaction mm -hmm. i don't know i mean that was my view of or is my view of what aries is absolutely and does anybody else want to jump in and and mm. chat i think there's an opportunity here to have a nice yeah discussion on what other people think I mean, when we kind of set out with the task of updating the language, um, it was through the lens of trying to supply um, a view of Aries that would be more understandable, palatable, uh, familiar to somebody who doesn't know anything about Aries, somebody who is, a, again, a potential customer or partner or what have you, um, somebody who maybe isn't technical, who wants to, who's a, dis, a business decision maker, who's trying to decide whether or not to put money into a particular um, project or a particular vendor, et cetera. And so when I think that um, we had, we started asking the questions in the survey, et cetera, we were sort of framing it as, you know, there's these two different audiences, the business audience and the developer audience, and how can we kind of start real high level and then provide the links and the offshoots and the, the, the experience that each one of those types of audiences would uh, require. I don't know if you can actually get that first sentence in less technical terms. Sure. Especially for a business person. Um, 
because I mean, this is the language we utilize uh, when communicating our business, but in all fairness, we actually don't even go into the detail around ARIES just due to the fact that we find it's more a technical toolkit than, for example, what Indies. So mm -hmm. we would we would have more business conversation around Indy than what we would have around Aries. Mm -hmm. um, because to us, it's a pure um, technical tool set, same with Ursha, uh, for us to implement decentralized identity. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know how the other uh, guys on the um, call see it and if they actually have a different type of conversation. One of the things about that first sentence, um, in, or even the first, you know, part of that sentence, hyperledger, hyperledger Aries is an infrastructure for blockchain rooted peer to peer interactions. We have found um, it, in this kind of conversations in the last, you know, couple of months um, that a lot of organizations don't even really want to talk about blockchain. Um, it's a word that they immediately start thinking crypto. Um, for a, a high-level business decision maker, it, it can be it can be a sticky word. So that was one of the items that I think had come up in one of the conversations um, was just that that word. And then also, peer-to-peer -peer interactions. Again, if we're trying to start high level, and maybe this is a maybe this this phrasing and this terminology can then be used um, used somewhere else. But peer-to-peer mm -hmm. -peer interactions is also something that it doesn't really spark the value driven conversation <clears throat> how can i implement what why would i implement this what good is it to me in my business why would i want to do this where would i you know where would i implement it and so i think part of what we were looking at is providing descriptions that were more again value oriented um and and communicating aries as a um well i mean to sean you could or uh, alex you could bring bring it up again what kind of the draft that you have there mm -hmm. Um, but looking at it at, from a perspective, from a lens of if a business is putting time, resources, energy, money, developer time towards Aries, why would they make that decision? And we're trying to answer that, that question. Maybe that's not the question we should, should, should start with. I don't know. Alex, do you have any thoughts on this? Yeah, I can see the value of clarifying at the right time what it actually is. Like, I understand that. And when we've, and a parallel piece of work that Helen and I are doing with DICOM, we've gone more that way. It has a, a lower level technical value. And we're actually saying this is what it is quite clearly up front. But Aries, the breadth of it, like I said, every time you ask people, they had a different idea of what it meant. So we have gone just as you said, value based. It's, 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 your, it's your complete toolkit for doing this and lets you do this and this and this. Oh, okay. And then the thinking is, well, how is it? What exactly is it? Well, that's when you dive in. You look at those videos. You look at those intros. You look at the, okay, I get it now. It's It facilitates this. So I think it is important. I could see potentially the value somewhere in the description in the right place of just saying, you know, explicitly what it is. But we have so far purposely pitched it that bit higher as to what it brings to the table rather than technically what it is, especially because I think the words, when it's so easy when we're, we're so in it to think these words are complex, but when we, when you, in any way of like approaching it, that's that, that first line is critical and we're starting to use four plus syllable words and get into um, longer technical things and blockchain root and infrastructures and peer to peer, then not, we're just trying to find the middle ground of language. And so it's an ongoing discussion. And I really hear what you're saying, Sean. I don't know that I haven't got the exact answer. The only thing I'd say so far is that the feedback we've had has been that we've been a lot of people have, have, have not pushed back on the track we've taken. So I'm wondering if there's a way to have our cake and eat it. And if we can take the value-based approach we have and also have a statement someone say exactly what it is. Maybe there's like a, you know, at what point does that become critical? 
at what point does it develop here? What is it? <laughs> I would say at point of implementation, but neither here or there. Uh, the, so if we look at the first sentence, Aries is your complete toolkit for decentralized. When people see complete toolkit, uh, oh, I take Aries and now I can start issuing my DITs. You can't. You need components like Ursha in it. You need components like a Hyperledger Indy or Adera, depending on you know which direction you want to take. If it's like your complete toolkit for integration, because the, the sentence in itself say, it kind of says, guys, if you take Aries, you don't need anything else. That's the part that kind of I, is in conflict. I don't know. This is Tim here. Sorry, I'm driving. If, if too much noise, I, I'll go back on mute. Um, I'm struggling with this a bit because I mean, Aries, I mean, problem with Aries is there's many different applications. Are we talking about the Akapai as a complete toolkit? Are you talking AFJ as a complete toolkit? Because I could certainly don't need Indy to issue credentials to some in the, with, with, with um, some of those tools, depending on what I'm doing. Others, mm -hmm. you know, I don't do. So I struggle with, I, I still always struggle with what is Aries in terms of a toolkit, a set of standards, um, working code, implementing a set of standards. Um, but I, I do think that Aries is an important focus. I mean, as opposed to, I really, I, to me, Indian stuff is almost, there's a very few pieces left in Indy that are needed, um, um, but but Aries is, is 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 pretty much replacing most of the pieces. I mean, the last one is a ledger, but Indy is a non. I mean, sorry, Aries is um, credential agnostic now. I mean, non credentials, I should say. So mm. you don't have to use um, um, Indy Node, for example. Anyway, I, I do struggle with the tool because I'm not sure what it is. And maybe there's room for modification instead of your complete toolkit. We we do mention um, an open source code repository or uh, the a, a mature uh, code base for building decentralized identity solutions or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. oh, I like that. Because yeah. one thing we I, I I always had in the back of my mind is um, when Aries was graduated from uh or they whatever in into graduated status i don't know whatever <laughs> the top level most mature status that hyperledger um it's because it has a thriving community it has tons of con contributors from a bunch of different organizations there's constantly you know uh, commits and interesting things happening and um you know it's it's i want i want to make sure that anybody who you know comes our way and is looking at aries understands that it's not just you know, a bit of a bit of code that has been open sourced and you can pick it up and might be able to do something with it. I, I want to make sure that it is very clear about the breadth and and uh, depth of, of the of the code and, and um, that the description is in line with, again, what somebody what their pain point is right like who are we serving with this top level description. And you know, at the end of the day, it's it's going to be somebody who's putting money towards creating a, a product with this. So why would they create a product with with this? And you know, let me learn more, right? So I think starting out with oh, it's a code base that you know, it's a mature code base that does blah, blah, whatever we decide, you know, the word wording there, and then we go into making peer to peer connections and um, you know, descent, you know, something. You know, we could build. I think we can build that language into a place um in a workflow in a kind of a you know customer experience flow <laughs> um for uh, using that using that language so we could we can definitely build it in there i don't think we have to abandon it um you know just blanketly mm. no it, it, it was more around just getting uh, that appropriate view of what it is to us as a community I mean, your ongoing communication channels for rich interaction to me is a good replacement for peer to peer. Mm -hmm. um, in if you, you know, that business type terms. Mm -hmm. um, the re meet the requirements and regulations for government level identities. Um, Might be a bit of a stretch. 
there's a couple of governments that are very keen on using it for that. And I, 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 I totally agree, but you need to add, um, let's call it a governance framework around it to meet those regulations. It in oh, itself okay. doesn't do it. No, no, it's a talk, it's, it's a technology stack. It's not, it's not the pieces yeah. around it. Absolutely agree. Yeah. Correct. But I still think it's the tool, it's, it's a set of libraries and open source code bases, mature open mm. source code that allow you to implement these these standards. I think that's the, that's the huge value proposition, I think, as we said earlier. Correct. It's yeah. a very robust set of code. Awesome. Um, I have been uh, not taking very good notes, but <laughs> let, me, let me get back into the page and then we'll I'll add that those those comments in here, because really that's what this meeting is for, right, is to make sure that we aren't, um, you know, leaving anything on the table when we go to make um, to then present kind of what our to present this to the general kind of working uh, Aries working group. Um, but I want to make sure, you know, we want to make sure that there is enough ideas and um yeah I, I enough ideas being circulated and, and be in consideration so that we are able to provide a, a good good you know next steps um, so just adding some notes into the uh aries marketing working group meeting page <clears throat> Um, so I think that was, that was the majority of what we wanted to talk a little, you know, talk about today. And, and Alex, what do you think about, um, adding, uh, or when you, I think the idea is the next steps is to present that deck to the working group or to the like general Aries working group. Is that right? Is that, the, would that be the next steps? We've had, we did that summary of the deck last week mm -hmm. briefly. I think the next step was really about here's the here's a wiki page ready to go. I, I would imagine is what I, is, I think, if we can reflect the language of the front, so it's very clear what this is, let me get that right. I think that feedback's really helpful. Mm -hmm. So thank you, um, Sean and Tim on that. If we get, if we tighten that up so we are clear on that, I think the next step is, I suggest is, let's get something improved. Let's get the wiki page uh, improved and ready to go. And maybe what we do is, um we implement the the language from the documents that you shared into a draft and then I send it out and then we can, um, you know, add or subtract or, ch you know, change things as needed. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, do, I just, I really think that starting out high level and then kind of letting it, you know, choose your own journey. If you're looking at more learning about understanding what Aries is or going to, you know, look under the hood and start seeing, um, the code and the, you know, different, you know, underlying descriptions for developers. I think that there's, there's room for both. Um, and, and, you know, being able to accommodate that in what, in, in the wiki and, you know, with offshoots, I think is the best um, course of action. So whether or not we keep the sort of the same Aries language higher up or further down, it will be there. Um, so I think it's just a matter of who who that most appeals to. Um, but we could definitely move things around as we go. Mm -hmm. For sure. Cool. Um, and you put all those links to those two documents in the chat. Is that right, Alex? They put the, what should I put in there? No, I need to put the, um... Let me put the, the, the Google Doc link to that update description one second here. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll just I'll drop in that survey riddle. The yeah, we'll just want to drop in the survey results deck that you showed. And then I think I rate I might have deleted the the link that I we had in there and then the area the one that you had um just presented. Just a question, are we going to be looking at the training material as well? Because I see there's a, a course in inverted commas that covers 
hyperledger areas in these and on creds. Is that through the Linux Foundation training and Correct. Is yeah. that oh. Ooh, that is a good question. Um, the Aries community did not make that training material specifically. I think like Stephen mm -hmm. Curran wrote it, maybe. Um, yeah. On the of Hyperledger, yeah, something like that. So, oh, yeah. Um, we could we could add, yeah we could approach Stephen about if, you know if he's working on any updates or if we could you know review any of that material. I think he's been updating it over the years as, as things are going like he keeps refreshing it from what I remember hearing anecdotally so awesome um so yeah maybe I'll, I'll try to grab that um talk to Stephen about how how to best present that maybe I grab him for our next meeting he could join us and we, he could talk walk through the the training and certification materials because you're right that's that's definitely a, a first step you know in a lot of people's journeys for sure I feel like I went through it. It was like free for a minute and I went through it, but it was years ago. Sean, have you ever gone through it in any iteration or Alex, have you gone through it? Yeah, I've been through it. I think it's free and unless you want the certification. Mm. But I think yeah. it's still free to go through and it's it's got some good conceptual building block stuff in there, mm -hmm. which I found it's for back in the day. Yeah. yeah. I think it's $180 or something to that effect. For the certification or for the the just the training? No, for the certification. Okay, yeah. So the the um just the workshop, like the work, the training is free, so you can access and see the questions mm. and everything, or you know yes. the content there. Um, but what you're saying is you'd like to see the certification questions. Is that what you're asking for? No. So you know the as we update um, the material, yeah, and give that bus business view of what Aries is. Um, Stephen kind of, to me, needs to take that wording and include it in the uh, training course, because the training course talks specifically to um, an introduction for business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it help we say why and he says x <laughs> yeah no that would be that would be counter counterproductive to our effort <laughs> so yeah we'll we'll definitely I'll, I'll reach out or alex if you talk to steven um if you want to invite him to our next next month's meeting and we can walk through um the training insert materials that would be i think a good idea yeah, and it might absolutely. also Oh, sorry. And it might also be helpful to bring, you know, Sam um, in as well. And, you know, with the two working group chairs and us, um, you know, really get into the nitty gritty. So if we draft, you know, take take the information that we have, draft a new wiki page, and then kind of wireframe out what the web, what the Hyperledger Foundation website page would contain, um, and then present it to the working group. And then we can fine tune it with the working group chairs on our next call. I think that would be a good kind of next steps. So I'll put that under future topics. Oh yeah, we did want to talk. And that was one of the questions we had had is about competitors. Like what, what I, maybe somebody on the call could answer the question, um, Sean or Tim or, or Robert, but who, what are the other competitors to Aries? If someone's looking at building decentralized identity what else are they looking at well they're looking very much at open id from vc mm. that is your dominant competitor i and look at iso mdl mm -hmm. mdl uh, yeah the problem is that not all the same things but let's just say iso mdl and open id for vc is where a lot of people are going okay. um, now they're, they're different things and eventually iso's generic standards um eid standards which are coming out those mm -hmm. are your primary competitors Okay. I mean, open ID for VC can actually work within Aries, so it gets complicated. There's, there's Venn diagrams and Venn diagrams and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would definitely say the ISO stuff, um, especially government, which is very, very focused on MDL right now. Okay. Is there a way to make it clear that open ID can work with Aries? Is there some some miscommunication or misunderstanding about any of those kind of competitors when it? Um, uh, in that Venn diagram? 
I, I, it's not that it, yeah, I don't know. There's other, others have to sort of put it, um, chime in. So there's definitely um, pieces of areas that are, are overlapping with open even VC issuance, right? That's exactly what open, and issuance and, 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 and presenting proof. Both of those things are, are overlapping, but then you can, you know, a non credit could be presented by uh, open ID even VC, be issued by it anyway, or a proof could be presented. So it, it, yeah, it's really hard to nail it down. I mean, there's, there's, there's a bit of a, I don't know a better way of saying it than a Venn diagram, but I'm not sure how you can clarify that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'd have to think about it. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, the, I think it had come up, uh, Alex and I were just, you know, thinking about what other mes um, yeah, messages out there, uh, messages are out there from other organizations, other private entities, other open source entities, other standards bodies, et cetera. And so, yeah, that's, I think, a great, a great place to start. Um, yeah, as Alex mentioned, we're working on some sort of, you know, didcom language as well, and OpenID uh, for VC is coming up there as well. And so it sounds like there, there's, um, yeah, an opportunity to clarify, <laughs> to sort of clarify um, and, and less muddy the waters. <laughs> that would be a good place to do it, actually. I think that's the best place to do it, because there's no reason why didcom and OpenID for VC cannot, in, um, cannot um, work be side by side. But that's where there is some misunderstanding. You will think that you, you know, if you open any VC, you can't be using Didcom. Well, you you certainly could. It's just and so yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. adding some notes in, into the page. Um, another item that we had on our agenda was use cases, um, specifically going through the repos of, uh, and describing each a little more familiar, like a little more palatable for somebody who doesn't know what a non-creds or doesn't know what Jason, like all the, all the different repos that are in Aries, how can we present those that, you know, these ones kind of go together and these ones kind of go together. And this is what they do. If you're looking to do this, you, you want to look at these ones. If you, if you're looking to do this other thing, you want to look at these ones. So um, I think that was another question for Stephen and Sam and, and anybody on this call could, you know, help, help with that is um, what different parts of Aries are most compatible with one another and why would someone want to use one and not the other? And in making their their decisions on wh where to build, one thing you might want to look at there is and it's starting to come up. Um, seen it in Open Wallet Foundation, others is the concept of um, profiles. Um, really precise. It, it, it's not quite what you're asking because um, you know you, AFJ, for example, and Akapai compete. You know, and, and they, I mean, ones use more use for mobile, ones more use for desktop, but really they actually have a lot of the same functionality. But it does. Um, I think profiles are an area where you could you work sort of list for this this credential scheme, um, this issuance, this um, um, presentation, you know, presentation um, approach, um, um, protocol, whatever it may be, very precisely listed. So, but there's not many profiles right now, and that would at least help identify the. And I, I, anyway, Open Wallet Foundation is also working on trying to get profiles together and to sort of try and identify um, those kinds of patterns. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's still a thing to be done with Aries to try and link them together i'm not sure yeah absolutely i mean the the getting started is always i mean it is always a, a a factor that comes up with aries um even not i mean last week this week i think i don't know i can't remember my weeks now um in the discord channel there was somebody saying i tried this and i didn't know and i don't know where to start i tried to follow the guide on the that i found on the web like no one can it's very, there's a high barrier of entry for using and understanding Aries. And all of this work that we're doing is trying to lower that barrier of entry and get more people using it, more people understanding it, more people a roadmap on where they want to go based on what their use case is in their head that they've identified that decentralized identity, verifiable credentials, whatever is, is um, would benefit them. So the more we can lower that barrier, I think that's, that's the goal here. And that's where, I mean, the open ID for VC is so being so successful. Mm -hmm. People think they know it because they already know OIDC and OAuth, even though it's a different protocol, but they understand it intuitively. It's very simple. It doesn't do as much. So 
you know, you pick your poison. But yeah, that, that's exactly where that, that protocol is standard, which is still, you know, hasn't even been finalized. So, so you know, it's really EU standard issuance. Mm-hmm. And that was done because of people could just understand it. And mm-hmm. so, yeah, that's really important. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, I think there is some, there was talk about OpenID and Aries having some sort of agreement or co-collaboration in something or other. I'm not quite sure where, what had come up. Um, what was the that result? Was, that was the wallet, open wallet, which is different. Oh, yeah. sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I'm mistaking my opens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, well, which is also very open even BC centric right now, but we'll also support, you know, I, uh, which should also support down Aries did come a bit of a Swiss army knife, but yeah. So, so open wallet is more related to let's call it authentication protocol, when you log on to an SSO, where Aries, uh, and that's where you can use in open wallet credentials, people credentials that are issued. But for example, open wallet wouldn't use proof of employment. I, I'm not it has no value in its current, let's call it deployment, because using your proof of employment to log on is, you know, you'd rather, uh, what is your identity to log on? Are we talking about the same? Open Wallet Foundation hasn't, is not that precisely prescribed. It's supposed no, to be not wallet. Open Wallet, Open ID. I'm not talking about Open ID here. I'm talking about Open ID for VC, which does cover the same territories. This is different from OIDC. And that's, you know, we're getting into probably, uh, which is about authentication, but op- open ID for VC covers issuance. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I saw open, open ID there, but yeah, if you're sorry, saying no, open no. ID for VC, that's something yeah. different. It's not open ID, different. Alex, or oh, who's typing, Helen? Yeah, You're open ID, sorry, there's always a great confusion. Open ID, the number four, and then VC. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> Thanks for catching that. Apologies. I put it, yeah, I put it in other places. Not, I wasn't being prescriptive on it, but yeah, uh, open ID for VC. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I mean, in the last few minutes here, I think we had a great, dis- I think this is, has been a great discussion on what more, I think we were, <laughs> we don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater, but we, you know, there are, is a lot that we could keep from Aries, I think uh, from the current Aries description and, and, and messaging, but I think it's, putting it in the right places for the right audiences. So we'll, we'll definitely be moving some things around, adding like another higher level um, uh, kind of description at the, at the onset, um, but definitely want to get in into these nuances. So it, it answers people. It's almost like an FAQ, not that we'd put an FAQ, but like, you know, it, it's one of these common you know, misconceptions, uh, misunderstandings of technology. Uh, again, high, high barriers of entry, people not understanding where to go and what to do that we're trying to eliminate. Um, so that I think might be in the next iteration or next um, series of, uh, you know, work steps for us uh, moving forward once we kind of get the first first elements um, implemented. So what we're gonna do, I don't think there's other business, but um, I just took this template from someone else. Uh, So what we're gonna do is we're gonna invite Steven and Sam to the next call to talk about um, the training, the the training and certification. Um, We're going to review um, and have them review kind of the new pages um, that we will be drafted between now and then um, for them to look at and wire, hopefully a wire, get a wireframe uh, put together to at least give to Hyperledger Foundation so that when they implement their new website, they can quickly kind of update them the, the language there. Um, yeah, and then in the meantime, just focus on, um, <clears throat> or sorry, for the action items. We're gonna just focus on um, updating the, the wiki for now. Um, and go from there. And drafting, yeah, drafting the wireframe. Yeah, very helpful feedback. Thank you. Yeah. Um, cool. Is there any other kind of last minute call outs, comments, anything that anybody wants to um, share? Wonderful.
I gave like 0.1 Nathans there. I'm giving it a full Nathan. No, just kidding. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so yeah, feel free to reach out, feel free to, you know, add notes or, or what have you on this page. Um, happy to keep the conversation going on discord. There is an Aries marketing channel, I believe now on discord. So we can keep, you know, keep the conversation going there. If you see examples or resources or links that you want to share that you think should be included or are good examples of something, please, you know, drop them in, keep the, you know, keep the conversation going after this meeting. Yeah. This is not a point in time. This is the first of many increments. You may not get it all right first time, but we can keep improving it. I think if we think of it that way, it's going to give us a lot more freedom because mm -hmm. everything's going to be, I think, a big step forward from where we are right now in terms of what we're trying to show of all the great work that's happened in the Aries last few years. So let's, let's, let's do that. Let's keep it going. And all the feedback is welcome. Awesome. Thank you all for your time today. Thanks for showing up. And um, we'll see you on the interwebs. Thank you all. Thanks all. Yeah.